Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketReusers.com, the US Tech Channel, and ProtectionReviews.com. Uh, I'll be actually selling our Verizon iPhone 5 on eBay soon, so I have to look at all of the iPhone 5 stuff that I have before I get rid of it. This is the free life-proof case, uh, not to be confused with the newer nude version that retails for $10 more. This retails for $79.99, and when I say this, I mean this one on this side. This is a Chinese uh, knockoff. Part of this uh, video is to uh, show you the differences uh, between the two, ever, however so slight they might be. Um, they've gotten really good at copying the packaging, and it is really hard to differentiate uh, these two. Inside and out, the packaging uh, pretty much stays true to the original actually don't have all the literature inside of it uh, right now. Let's go ahead and open these up. So you'll find a lot of these on wholesale Chinese uh, sites and you'll also find them uh, on eBay. It's one location. Now, of course, we have a pink one and a black one. It might be hard to differentiate with the contrast. Assembled, you can see they look really similar. Um, the finish on the plastic is just ever so slightly different. Uh, this has a little bit more uh, rubberized feel to it. This used to have, the pink one had uh, one of these stickers on the back of it as well. Pretty much they warn you to test the case for leaks prior to actually sticking it on the device. I don't have this piece for the authentic one. And here you can see the, the cloth. It says life proof. I don't know where the cloth for this one is, but it also said life proof as well. Here's some of the product literature. You can see this is a little bit more glossy. Uh, they use a little bit more premium paper to print this out than the cheap Chinese uh, knockoff. Here's this checklist that was on the back of the device. Very similar. Just stick that down there. Again, pretty similar. That's what they look like inside. And on the back side of this carton, see right here is a little bit more defined than this one. They must have just tried to clone it. Uh, the edges aren't as smooth. Set all this aside and then look directly at the cases, which of course is the most important thing. Start taking this one apart. First I'll undo that hatch. Work it all the way around. On this one, it didn't want to go uh, into the bottom corners as well as the authentic one. We'll test these underwater in a minute to see if when submerged, they'd start taking on water. You can see the slight differences uh, in the layout right there. But they do look close to each other. Here's the button side. You can see this film across here. None right there. Here's the port for the headphones. This does have a little yellow seal right there. This one happened to be black. They do have the life proof stampings on them. You can see the authentic one is actually a little bit shorter. Let's go submerge these now for about five minutes and see if they take on water. Okay, one of the most important things 
about the life proof case is that it is supposed to be waterproof. Now you should do this test uh, before plan, uh, you plan on putting your iPhone device in one of these cases even if it's authentic. Uh, they do suggest that to make sure that your device doesn't die. Now in theory you should be able to move it around. You shouldn't just have to sit in here and not get water inside of it. Of course these are very buoyant as long as they're uh, containing air inside of them. Alright, now that they've been there a few minutes, let's take them out. Alright, before we inspect the cases, um, I was able to find the other pieces. Looks like our cat's been playing with them. This is the uh, counterfeit case, uh, microfiber cloth, and this is the authentic one. They do look very similar. And here's the insert that goes inside. Again, very similar. Let's go ahead and crack these open. Start with opening the power port. I believe the only moisture that was inside this one was from my hand sweep, uh, sweeping across it. You can see water on the other side of this rubber seal, but not within it. No water here either. Now the counterfeit case. Again, a little water inside that area, but not past that seal. No water in here either. So this also means that the little port for the headphone jack appears to be working correctly. I already know that this fits perfectly in the authentic version. I'll go ahead and place it in here, in the counterfeit case. Again, in the counterfeit case, sometimes the bottom parts don't want to click together very well. You will experience a change in the sound because it has it projected through this membrane. So the choice is really yours if you want to save some money and go with a fake Chinese life proof case. As you can see it works pretty well, except that you might experience some issues like the bottom not sealing sometimes, as this one has no issues at all. The buttons do feel a little bit easier to push on the authentic version. Here's the second case I have. The second fake case. Again, the bottom corners are just a little hard to match up. So for more information on this and more, please visit my site protectionreviews.com. Uh, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel. It's only through viewers like you that I'm able to purchase these items and do video reviews. Thanks a lot.